He is jurist, economist, politician, social reformer and father of constitution. If Indians have social rights and democracy then it is because of Dr. B R Ambedkar. He is inspiration to many generation not just for Indians but across world. Today every party it might be Congress, BJP or communist parties. Everyone has votes on the name of Dr. B R Ambedkar. But very less people know that Congress party defeated Ambedkar in election not once but twice. But question pops in everyone's mind is what made Ambedkar fight election by resigning from Congress and what is the real reason Ambedkar was defeated by Congress. For next 3 minutes I am going to tell you undigested facts of 1952 elections in which Congress defeated Ambedkar very badly. Stay tuned and watch full video. Welcome back to Fact Desk. I will be uploading short and simplified information in one video every alternative day with most interesting facts and trending topics which everyone should have knowledge. If you not yet subscribe the channel please subscribe and press bell icon. Let's begin our video from 1947 when India was free from white men. Though there was no general election to elect prime minister, there was 15 members committee in which 12 voted in favor of Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel to become prime minister. But it was Mahatma Gandhi who sidelined Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel and favored Nehru to become prime minister and rest is history. And being part of cabinet, Dr. B R Ambedkar was first law and justice minister of independent India. With constitution, Ambedkar wanted to bring social reform in society, but few congressmen including Nehru was against Ambedkar's ideology. Even though Ambedkar was in cabinet, he was treated like an option. It is said that many times Nehru and congressmen insulted Ambedkar openly in parliament. Even with greater insults, Ambedkar decides to be in cabinet just because he didn't wanted congressmen to change constitution in their favor. He was so tired of all insults by congressmen that he decided to resign from Congress and wanted to contest election as independent candidate. There are many reasons Congress was against Ambedkar and wanted to defeat Ambedkar in election. One of the reason is Article 3 70. Yes, Ambedkar was against Article 370. He questioned Nehru directly for giving all the support and reservation benefits which needed for Jammu Kashmir by accepting to run government by their own who rejected Indian constitution. For giving special status and dual citizenship, Ambedkar warned Nehru and told Jammu Kashmir will become threat for national security in future. As he told, we can see how youth joining terror groups and attacking Indian army. Also, Ambedkar was not happy of Nehru who was more worried about Muslims especially in Kashmir rather than backward Hindus. Sikhs, Christian and other religions in India and another reason was uniform civil code Ambedkar wanted set of common laws which apply to all citizens equally regardless of their religion by including in Hindu code bill but it was Nehru who wanted to apply law only for Hindus and not for other religions if Nehru passed the bill which Ambedkar wanted then today there would have been equal rights for all religion especially for Muslims and their women at the time of independence condition of women and backward was not so good that Ambedkar wanted to wipe out all gender inequality in society but it was congress who didn't support this move recently supreme court gave a verdict on property which have equal share for both men and women if bill was passed at the time of ambedkar then opportunity for women would have been higher in society at certain point ambedkar lost all his patience and he got to know being in congress is useless so he resigned on 27 september 1951 and decided to contest election as independent candidate and nehru knew that if ambedkar wins election then he will form strong opposition and dethrone congress in next 5 years But saddest part is Congress played pity politics by choosing Ambedkar's assistant N S Kirlokar to contest against Ambedkar who didn't even pass 12th standard. It was one of the worst event in our history and life of Ambedkar which many of us don't know. With support of Gandhi, Nehru campaigned for Kirlokar and defeated Ambedkar badly with 14,500 votes. Same thing repeated again in 1954 Lok Sabha by elections. If Ambedkar would have won the election then India's politics would have been completely different. More than a politician, Ambedkar was socialist. He believed democracy democracy should be socially but it was nehru and congressmen who used democracy politically to get votes and we all know it is because of nehru politics his family continued to stay in power for 60 years and changed constitution 27 times in congress tenure and not to forget congress party which defeated ambedkar and his ideology is the same party who seek votes of dalits and muslims even today on the name of ambedkar and these things are hidden in our history books just for the sake of political benefits of congress party that's the end of why congress defeated and betrayed dr Baba Saheb Ambedkar If you think this video has facts then please share this hidden truth and comment your views in comment section Also don't forget to subscribe our channel for more interesting and trending videos